y'all it's christine beauty 101 welcome back to my channel um today i have a very small dollar tree haul and also a small dollar general haul for you guys um if you guys watched my last dollar tree haul um if not i will link the link down below in the description um i am trying to do a giveaway if i hit um 200 subscribers so make sure you watch all my um dollar tree hauls or all my hauls in general to see what's going to be in the giveaway um bag that i have going on um i have quite a few items in it so far not a whole bunch maybe like four or five items um but i am going to let it grow as it goes on um so yeah make sure you stay into the whole um giveaway thing subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up show some love um make the channel grow and the family grow with all you beauties and everything going on out there um before i go ahead and get started with these hauls i am going to go over what's on my face like I usually do every video I make um I am wearing fake lashes today um I don't know if you can see but I am and I did go over them a little bit with some mascara because I do like my lashes to be dark dark and bold um so I did go over them a little bit I am using the LA color um Dream It Lash Delightful in black and 974. I am using these ones. I hauled these a little bit ago in one of my Dollar Tree hauls. I'm not 100% sure on which one it is, but I will link it down below so you can actually see what they look like before I added some mascara onto them. Um, I am wearing this Wet n Wild H2O Proof liquid liner today um in the black brown okay some good hits and some bad hits about this um okay um i hauled this in my dollar tree haul the other day um i'll link that down below okay so there's been you know a lot of hits saying that it was a dud there was nothing in the tube where it was dried up mine fortunately yes it had liquid in it and it worked great it it shows up great i only had to do it um what can what would be the word like one swatch on the eye but the thing is about this one you have to work fast with it because it dries up and it even dries up on the little wand it has. If it stays out and hits, you know, the oxygen too fast, it will dry it up. So you're nonstop have to put it back in and out. But overall, besides that, it is very nice. And it is like a thick texture. Um, but overall, I do, en I do enjoy it. I will probably use it again, but would I buy it again? Maybe not, um, but it does look very nice on the eye. But like I said, you do have to really work with it and um, really go fast with it. Okay, um, when I put my lashes on, I did use my Shani um, eyelasher that I got in my Shani box. I will also link that down below if you did not watch that video. Um, I am using this Oakland Natural Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I don't know if that's how you say that Oakland, but I'm pretty sure that is. I always say things wrong. And that's what the inside of it looks like. Very cute. I love the hearts. Um, I am using this color, this color, and this color on my eyes from that palette and then I'm also using a LA Colors a Smoky Eyeshadow um, and I am using this one right here on top of my creases just to give it 
Not too dark of a look, but you know, just to smoke it out just a little. Um, I am using for my bronzer, Malin. I think that's how you pronounce it. This one is one of my favorites, and this is in Cholier 05 Baked Bronzer. This one is one of my favorite bronzers. Um, and it also gets the brush in the mirror, but I usually use my own brush. But this one is one of my favorites, so I try to use it not all the time. I'm trying to switch that out to use different bronzers. Um, but that, if I had to pick and to go to one of the bronzer, that would be my bronzer to go to. Um, I am using the LA Colors Correct Conceal It um, on my eyes for my primer and under my eyes for my dark circles. I really do like this. I picked this up in my other haul. Um, I want to say it was my Walmart and Family Dollar haul because I do really enjoy these. Um, my blush, I am using Hard Candy and it's Uptown Girl. Now I love this brush, blush. I use it all the time. Um, it's very nice and I really like, you know, shimmery blushes. Um, for my highlights, I am using the Malane and Strobe Bright. And I really do enjoy this one. This one is really my to-go to highlights at all times um, but I am trying to use different highlights instead of using the same things over and over again okay so this is my favorite eyebrow palette it is from Okbra I don't I don't know if I'm saying that name right but uh this is my favorite Um, I am using this color, and I am also using black. I do like mixing black in it to um, give it that classy, you know, sharp look. But I try not to overpower the black because the black is a very strong color. Um, and I used Ultra Lightweight Magic Collection Finishing Powder. And I basically just use this for under my eyes, to bake my face, and on my chin and my forehead. Um, but I really do like this powder. And um, it's in banana yellow. Okay, y'all. So since I am... Oh, I forgot my lippy. Almost forgot. Um, I am using the LA Color Worldwide Matte Lipstick that I picked up in Family Dollar. Um, like I said, I will link that link down below if you missed my Walmart and Family Dollar haul. Um, I got it on clearance. It was, I want to say it was a dollar. No, it was 75 cents because they were doing um, a 50% off and these originally are a dollar fifty. Um, but I've also seen these for two dollars. It depended on the area that you're in. Um, I am using this LA Color Shimmer Setting Spray um, that I showed in um, my haul the other day. Like I said, I will link that down below. And it is very nice. Um, I do enjoy it and I do enjoy the um, little shimmer that it leaves afterwards because I'm all about the glow. Um, but I am going to jump in and do the Dollar Tree haul first and then I'm going to shoot over and do the Dollar General haul because like I said they are small hauls. So like I said I'm going to jump into it and get going because it's already almost 10 minutes into this video and I've been rambling so much. Okay, so just ran out of these, but I picked up 300 counts of cutting, I mean, ear swabs, Q-tips, and I got them in purple because I the last ones I had were in blue. 
So I did pick up purple ones, and you get 300, and they usually last quite a bit with me and my fiance and stuff. And then I did pick up one of these organizers. Um, I wish they had more, but I did pick one of these up. It does show um, little nail polishes on them, but I really don't think nail polishes will fit in this one. Like it's showing in that picture, but the main reason why I got it is to put um, lipsticks in them because I really think lipsticks will fit in this more than nail polishes. But I did pick that up, and then I picked up two food related because they looked yummy. Oh, I almost forgot the um, eyelash glue I'm using is um, from LA Colors Dream It at Last in the black. I knew I forgot something like I always do, but it is what it is, y'all. You know, things happen. I picked up two of these Thin Shortbread Dark Chocolate Creams, and there are um, six in a pack, two packs, and they look really, really good, so I did pick up two of these um, to try them because I am trying to, well not trying, I am going on a diet to try to eat, you know, more healthier um, and stuff and to try to go back on my 15 calorie 100 diet, yeah, yeah, that's right, because um, the last time I was on that, I did lose 45 pounds in a month. So I am going to try to go back on that diet again. Um, and if I have little snacks like that, that will hold me off. Okay, so on to the last bag of Family Dollar. Okay, so I picked up one of these Eid, Aid, whatever it is. I have no idea if that's how you say it. Um, but it's a bomb shell in bloom by Victoria's Secrets. Um, so I picked up one of these and it smells nice. Um, I'm more leaning on um, Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secrets. Um, I have a lot of Victoria's Secret sprays as well, but I do prefer my Bath and Body Works more than my Victoria's Secret. So I wanted to pick this up because it smells nice and I wanted to give it a try. And then I picked up this Lectural Woman in White Diamond by Elizabeth Taylor. Um, I love White Diamond. It smells amazing. Um, and this does smell like Sorry about that, y'all. It does smell like the real white diamond. It's just the white diamond has, you know, a stronger hint to it. If you guys are familiar with white diamonds perfume from Elizabeth Tyler. Um, but it does smell like it. Um, both of them are 75 milliliters. Um, but this one does smell very, very good. Um, I've had that one before. Um, but it was in one of the smaller bottles in Family Dollar. Um, the smell stays on you, but it does not stay on you as long as um, the real one does. But that's usually how duplicates are. So I'm not really complaining about that. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. I picked up another pen, a novelty pen. And it has just, you know, pom-poms, and it's just shimmery. It has all the silicone colors, you know, the green, the purples, and the pink, when the light hits it. And I just think it's super, super cute, so I did pick this up. I know my cats are going to, you know, have a field day with this because they do like getting on my makeup area and stuff. So I have to put that up before it gets destroyed. Um, I picked up two more lashes, handmade 
lashes by Arn. Um, one's going to go in the giveaway and one's going to be for myself because I did pick up two of these. So one in the giveaway, one for me. So they are very, very nice. Okay, so I picked up two of these oil case. Okay, I think that's how you say, say it. And these are Korea masks. Um, so I'm really thrilled about trying these. Um, one I'm going to put in the giveaway and one's going to be for myself. Um, so make sure you keep up to date on what's going in the giveaway, um, makeup giveaway, and what's not. Um, but these seem very interesting um but yeah I don't know these are gemstone mini mask ruby empower and like I said they're made in Korea um they're so so hate free gluten free and it's for vegans and it's not tested on animals so that is great because I hate animal cruelty that is very wrong and then on the back of it it does show the steps and you leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes okay so like I said one in the giveaway one for me um, I did pick up one of these iron Everlasting Lash Glue, 100% vegan. I picked up the blue one. So I'm hoping they work out good. Um, I picked up this Wet n Wild color icon. Um, and it's blush. Um, I really don't know the name. Oh. It's Arp Cult in the middle. Picked this up. Um, I might put this in the giveaway. Or I might keep it for myself. Um, I have to think about it, but... I don't really have a shade like this, so I might keep this one for me. Um, they had a whole bunch of them in my local Dollar Tree, so... Um, if I don't really like this one, I will toss this out and I will get another one because I don't want to put that in the giveaway after I opened it because that's contaminated. I know you can sit there and spray with alcohol, but I will not sit there and put a package that's already been opened and has my fingerprints on it or my skin cells because I, like, no, like, I can't do that. Like, no. Mm -mm. Okay, so I found two of these eyebrow kits in Broadway. Um, you get a wax, a powder, you get wax and two, no, one wax, one brow powder, and one brow powder. So you get two brow powders, which I've had these ones before, and I'm not 100% sure what color these are because it doesn't say it um, but I picked up two of these are both the same um, I do really like the Broadway powder set I really just ran out of this one so I was kind of thrilled to um, come across these in the Dollar Tree because they are like two three dollars maybe four and um, Dollar General or in Family Dollar um, so that's kind of a steal to pick these, get these. So I did pick up two of these for myself because I do go through this palette really fast because I do enjoy them colors and they do look nice on my face. Um, I picked up these bath bombs, coconut scent and XO. They did have one in a heart and, um, one in like a macaroon or macaron, however you pronounce it. Um, but I only liked this one, so I picked this up, and this is in 
coconut scent and it does smell very nice. It does smell coconutty. Um, so I can't wait to try these out and um, let you guys know if these are a hit or a miss, if it's worth your dollar or not your dollar. So I will let you know. That was in the um, Valentine's section. Okay, so I have these two more items from um, Dollar Tree, and then the Dollar Tree haul will be complete, and then I'll move over into the um, Dollar General haul. Okay, this one says make your mark, and I love the little tie-dye stuff. Super cute, and huh. it's not, it doesn't say how many papers are in here, um, but usually they put either 50 or 75 to 100 um, little slots in here. By how this looks, I think there's about 70, 75 um, pages in here. But I just think that is so cute. And the best is yet to come. And this one is gorgeous. I love the gold in these. Um, I love the writing and I love the backsplash. That is so pretty. Same thing, it doesn't say how many sheets are in here, but I really think there is about maybe 50 to 75 sheets in these little books because they are pretty thick. Um, but yes, these are adorable. So if you see these and you love little tie-dyes and you're always writing notes down, um, then I guarantee to pick these up. Or if um, you, know, you have nieces, nephews, um, granddaughters, um, grandsons, and they love writing and drawing. These will be cute, um, and it won't be too much money if, you know, they get destroyed, um, because they are a dollar. Okay, so that is the end of the, um, Dollar Tree haul, so I am going to jump into the, uh, Dollar General, because there's not much in this haul at all. <clears throat> okay, so I picked up three of these bandanas, which this is, this is a really light green. It just, it's not looking like a light green on here, but it's a very light, like neon green. It's making it look like it's, um, like a bluish color over the camera. Um, but I do really like these. Um, I picked these up for my fiance because, um, he wears them around his mouth for the mask and stuff. Um, so did pick this one up, picked up this light, light, um, like lavender purple one. Um, cause purple is his favorite color and he was trying to pick up ones that would match his shoes. And then this is a very nice, like teal blue. It's looking a little darker than it really is on my side, but these are very cute and nice. And like I said, he wears them over his face like they're masks. Okay, yeah, I picked up one of these three M's, holds two pounds, um, Velcro wall holders. Um, I do really, really like these. Um, I've tried the, you know, sticky ones where both of the back stick and they would stick on the wall that way. Um, I believe these ones hold more than they do. Um, because I can hold picture frames up with these and I usually just put them on the bottom of the picture frame to keep them in place because I don't like how the pictures will adjust and turn and go cockeyed so I try to keep them to where they're in one place and they won't move. <clears throat> so I picked up this very cool lighter y'all and it's a refillable um 
and it's just adorable it was a dollar um, but it is just so cute you can see the teal the blue the yellows the greens all up in it and you just hold it down like that that is so cool and then you can refill it right here so for a dollar I was thinking it was gonna be like two dollars or so because it was up at the counter and um, the lady who rung me up I asked her to do the choice um, price check on it. It was a dollar so I snatched it because there was only this one left. But that is just so cute. I picked that up for my fiance because he's into the whole metallic look and everything. Okay, so I picked up three of these because I was trying to um, find hand sanitizer wipes in the Dollar Tree. I've seen um, Quite a few YouTubers I am subscribed to haul them on their channels from the Dollar Tree. But I have not came across that yet. So I did pick up three of these different ones. Which these are 40, 40 counts. Um, they're sanitized 99.9%. They're alcohol free formula. Um, but I did pick up three of these. picked up three of these um, I'm probably gonna keep one in my makeup room because instead of using makeup remover wipes to you know wipe off you know the makeup and stuff like that I'm gonna probably use these um, instead just so I know my hands stay clean um, like I said there are 40 counts and these are home max products made in China yeah so I'm assuming these are a home I mean a name brand not home name brand um, but that's kind of cool these were all the items I came across except for these these were a dollar I want to say a dollar fifty for these four Everything I came across in Dollar Journal were in the Clarence section, um, in the in the Dollar section, and all. I did pick up two of these masks. Um, this one is Dead Sea Mineralize Anti Stress Clay Face Mask, which I've been really stressed here lately. I do have blemishes. I don't know if you can see them, but I'm getting blemishes on how stressed I've been here the past um, three weeks so I want to see if this works nicely this there was only one of each of these so I did pick I scooped up both of them it helps smooth skin and deep cleans pores and it's for all skin type and that's this one I really hope there's more of these to um, try them out and then I picked up this cucumber cooling peel off face mask. Um, clarifies and refreshes skins for natural to combination skin types. Now I would tried the um what is it? Beauty the beauty Ganair, I want to say that that brand I want to say it's that brand I've tried that brand and that brand is nice um, so I picked this up thinking that it's gonna be the same exact thing but if it comes out green then it won't but it'll be kind of cool if it does come out green but you know a lot of them don't really do the colors that they're supposed to okay so I picked up some of these diamond nail filers um, they were also in the dollar selection um, so I was super thrilled to come across these because I found three of them in the Dollar Tree and I've seen some people haul Valentine ones and I have not came across the Valentine ones yet um, but I did find these ones all the ones in the middle did adjust over so you can't really see them but the prints on these ones are so cute they're pink and purple and white with blue in them. I don't know if y'all can really 
see that color too well, but they are so cute. And then there's these ones. And these are adorable. I love the flowers on this one and the cheetah print on this one. The cheetah or leopard print, whatever print you would think this one is. And they are just so cute. You can never go wrong with so many nail followers, y'all. Like, I go through them so fast. Okay, so the last thing is also this one. This is the very last thing from the haul. This one is just gorgeous. I love the flowers. And this one is very pretty as well. Okay, y'all. So, that completes this Dollar Tree haul and Dollar General haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these awesome finds. Let me know if you tried some of these products out yourself. Um, and let me know what you guys think of them, if you like them or dislike them. Um, and like I said before, I am going to do a giveaway at the end of April if I hit 200 subscribers. So make sure you guys subscribe, um, like, give this page some support. And I will mostly definitely subscribe to your channel as well to show you back the love. Um, but yes, make sure you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Keep your hands sanitized. Um, make sure you stay away from people who's feeling a little sick. Just on the safe side. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. Hope you all have a great day. Bye. <laughs>